What's up, guys? It's been a while since I posted a video. So it's kind of, you know, I've been fucking busy with my life. But I'm back now, and instead of Skyrim, I'm going to be doing Dwarf Fortress, which is a great freeware game done by these two brothers. Uh, it's completely free. There's a whole shitload of texture packs out there available. I used the uh, May Green texture pack, which I'll put all that shit in the description of the video. But basically, this is like a sandbox game. Um, you control seven dwarves at the beginning, and you try to build up your civilization through wealth and conquests and whatnot, and you get attacked by shit, and the aim of the goal, or the aim of the goal, the aim of the game is to have the Dwarven King come to your city and make it the capital of the Dwarven civilization. So, uh, this game is awesome, because it has dwarves, but it is a really fucking difficult learning curve. Like, basically, I had surgery like three years ago, and I was like, you know, out of action for like two weeks, just in my bed, just recovering. And I learned how to play this game during those two weeks by watching a series of videos on YouTube. So, my aim is to create, you know, a series of 10-minute videos showing you guys the basics of this game. How to, you know, not die and not get angry. Because it's a little frustrating sometimes, especially if you don't know what you're doing, because there's a lot of fucking details in this game. But, um, once you get, you know, get the hang of it, it's fun as fuck. It's really addicting. It's a great game. Tons of details. It's awesome. So, the first thing you want to do is generate uh, a world, which I already did, that takes a while, whatever. And what you want to do, the game mode you want, is Dwarf Fortress. And here we go. So this is the world. On the farthest right, it says world. This is like the macro version of what's going on. In the middle is region, which is like, see how my X is now over the little tree on the world map? In the region, there's really not much here. There's a bunch of like oceans and shit. And on the very far left is local. As you can see, there's just, like, forests, and, uh, all the arrows are, like, higher ground and shit like that. So, one way we can do this is by pressing F. This is where you settle, by the way. You don't play in the whole world. In Dwarf Fortress, you, you settle in one spot, and you stay there. So, I'm pretty... I've played this game for a while, so evil and savagery I can do up. Maybe even high on, uh... Savagery is like shit like werewolves and like beasts like elephants and crap like that and evil is like Do you get like zombies or undead shit like that like You could go to like a place that's low in savagery, but high in evil and you can get like uh, Like undead wolves like you know zombie wolves and they fuck up your shit, you know Or if you go near an ocean you can get zombie whales. That's really fucked up but if you get like high savagery high evil you get like fucking, like, I don't even know, like, what's in, like, I think one of them is, like, zombie yeti or something awful like that, like, if you're in a cold area, it's, it's, it's awful. Elevation doesn't really matter. Temperature, you don't really want a place that's cold, because it'll freeze the water, and that's a whole different story. Rain, you definitely want flux. Flux allows you to create steel, so you want that, and you definitely do not want an aquifer. An aquifer, basically, once you get below, like, two or three layers of dirt, you can't really get to the next layer of stone because there's water, so that sucks. River is good, I'd like a river. And I don't really care about this other stuff, so I'll press enter and it'll search. And it'll find an ideal spot for me. This kind of takes a while, so. Okay, so we found our spot. Uh, <laughs> it's terrifying, which is, this is the worst possible combination you could get. Um, basically means I'm going to get fucked up. But the good thing is, I've got like a brook, which is like a river, so there's going to be fish, and uh, yeah, so it should be pretty good. There's temperature, the temperature is good, it's a salt water, okay, salt water marsh, that means I'm going to get raped by undead crocodiles, but who gives a fuck? The hot volcano, this is, this is, oh fuck, this is like just choosing what dwarven civilization you belong to, it doesn't really, um... doesn't really affect you that much. At least, I don't think so. I don't think it affects you that much. The Glove of Kiss, you know what? I like the Hot Volcano. I'm a Hot Volcano. So what you want to do here is you want to, uh, you want to embark. E. Yeah, I know. Salt water, and it might be difficult to survive here. I don't, I don't care. So what you want to do is you want to prepare for the journey carefully. Um... So, I only have like a minute left. Anyways, so that's like the introduction to the game, like basically what it's all about. 
the next video will be about choosing who you start with and what kind of proficiencies you give your dwarves because this is fucking important. You only have seven that you start with, so if you don't if you don't use these efficiently, you could get fucked, especially if you're embarking in a terrifying zone like I am. So in the next video I'll explain to you what the professions are, which ones are absolutely necessary for your first seven, and what kind of items you should be buying with your dwarves as well. You know, you can bring shit. And uh yeah, just how skills work and stuff like that. So, see you guys in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed this one, even though not much happened. Peace!